please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. CNBC TV 18 Weekender, only on CNBC TV 18. Hello and welcome to The Weekender. I'm Manisha Gupta. Well, 2018 marks 70th year of India and Switzerland's bilateral friendship treaty that was signed in 1948. India is one of the top partners in Asia with Switzerland when it comes to signing of various treaties like the education, pharma, medical tourism, investment, visa, etc. When it comes to tourism, Switzerland tops charts for Indian tourists. 2017 has been a great year for Switzerland as in sense of footfalls coming in from the Indian markets. Joining us on the show is CEO of Switzerland Tourism, Martin Nedeker. Martin, thank you so much for joining us today. You think of a global tourist destination and Switzerland definitely tops the charts there. What do you have as in sense of status right now? How have been the last few years for you? Well, in terms of uh, global tourism to Switzerland, we had to go through a little bit of a dip in the last couple of years because European uh, tourism has uh, declined. But in terms of uh, tourism from India to Switzerland, we couldn't be happy. happier. We had um, uh, substantial growth in the last year in particular, actually in the last three years. And we are also very positive for the future as well. We will, of course, come to all of those numbers later, Martin. But tell us about yourself first and what brings you to tourism. For the longest time, I have wanted to work for a TLC channel or a segment. The whole travel, eating out, going to new places definitely does turn people on. But when, how did you come to this segment? Well, I think it's very much similar attributes and passion what Indians now like uh, about Switzerland. So that's how it, uh, how it started. And I had uh, passed in different areas of tourism. I worked in a destination. I worked in a beautiful Engadine Valley for more than 10 years. I have uh, represented Switzerland uh, in the Netherlands. And now I, uh, I'm at the head office of Switzerland Tourism. Mm. Uh, Indians, of course, fell in love with Switzerland in 60s and then 80s and 90s all over again. What has been the number then and how do you see the footfalls right now? If I recall the numbers right, we started in, uh, in about the 19s with 200,000 uh, overnights from India to Switzerland. And uh, nowadays we are at 750,000. So you can see a uh, um, impressive growth over the last decades. Mm -hmm. How has 2017 been? Because uh, your release says that this year has been exceptionally well for you. Where have the footfalls come in from? And what really is that something that still draws people to Switzerland? We had a new record set in uh, Switzerland from India. We grew to, uh, 25% just mm -hmm. in one year. Mm -hmm. So that makes it a, a relevant market to us. We also think that in future we're going to have a promising uh, growth. And um, in the past, as you mentioned before, it is still that uh, romantic, nature-loving pictures uh, of Switzerland, which is in the head of Indians, and we love that, and they're, most, more, more, they're very welcome to, to keep doing so. But in future, we would like to show a different face of Switzerland, and we are I'm really looking forward to do so. You know, every time you look at a footfall in a country or in a city for that matter, it, it is also divided in sense of a business trip or a pleasure trip. So uh, have you been able to also attract a lot of business travelers there, work conferences, etc.? The mm. World Economic uh, Forum in Davos, where we also have attendance uh, of Indians. Obviously, the Prime Minister and even Shah Rukh yeah. Khan is, is coming to visit us. We're very honored and happy to, to have them with us. Uh, so these are attendance of existing congresses. And uh, increasingly, we see also so-called incentive travels, uh, because it's so aspirational to come to Switzerland. Companies love to award their very successful employees by sending them on uh, vacations, on incentive vacations to Switzerland. That works really well. What has changed over the years, or do you think that was as it has been happening, still holds uh, the same pattern, the same movement, and the same people visiting in? It's, uh, it's become a fixed point in the agenda. Uh, it's obviously very politically uh, 
uh, based the whole discussion. So it has an impact on tourism in terms of everyone covers it and usually they show the beautiful pictures. But tell us, uh, it's not just Switzerland because almost every other country also is promoting tourism in one way or the other, starting right from Asia to other European countries to US and the Far East as well. How are you keeping with that pace? Um, yeah, that's true. There's um, there's a global uh, a global competition. Uh, each and every country uh, obviously show pieces their most spectacular places. So does India, which by the way I think does a an, uh, an, an tremendous job. And uh, we're trying to do uh, the same for us. Uh, more and more, it is important to clarify what your country stands for. What can you expect when you come to Switzerland? And we want to make sure that we stand by that. It is still a romantic nature-based vacation, but it has so much more to show and this is our intention to, to do so. We do that with our team here in India and uh, also uh, we're doing this together with a brand ambassador with Ranveer Singh. So what does Ranveer Singh really uh, bring to the table? How long is the association and how do you see it going forward? We work together with him now for one year mm -hmm. and uh, he is the perfect fit for us because we want to show these different faces, these new viewpoints of Switzerland and he's the perfect representative of that. Young, dynamic, attractive and aspirational. I so couldn't agree more, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so see, so uh, I think he's, um, we work really well with him because he transports exactly those values what we would like the, to, to, to uh, showcase Switzerland basically through his eyes, through his posts, through his messages. So I don't know if you have it at the back of your hand, but what is the global tourism number at right now and where does Switzerland really stand in that pecking order? Global, uh, global tourism is, in a, is, is an enormous industry. Mm. We, uh, and it has been growing, I would assume. It's going to be expected to grow um, annually 3 to 4%. And our target is obviously to get our share from that growth rate, but not at any expenses. And how are you going to achieve that? By making sure that those uh, target groups, and I'm talking now here in particular about India, okay. know precisely what to expect when they come to Switzerland. We want to show them the best time they can have in their precious vacation and to make sure that they will not be disappointed. So what has Switzerland's growth been in sense of tourism for the last few years and what are you targeting for or looking at forecasting for 2018? We had uh, a decline in overnights over the last eight years, mainly due to a currency reason with Europe. We uh, did not have growth rates everywhere such as in India. Uh, 2017 has become the turnaround point, the tipping point. We expect now that we reached that uh, level where we can again grow. Uh, for 2018, it's uh, looking very, very promising. It has started tremendously. We had large uh, snowfalls in, in winter, so we are very happy about the start uh, in the winter. So uh, if you want to see snow at its best, this is the perfect season to come <laughs> okay. and see it. And uh, so we very, uh, it, it's a very promising future we're looking ahead to. Uh, you know, again, uh, when it comes to uh, footfalls, where do you see that coming in in the most? Of course, India is one of your big markets. I was reading a report which says India is your eighth largest market when it comes to tourism. What are the other markets? What has been the growth from other markets? And what are you expecting from India? The main market in Switzerland is the domestic uh, market. That's mm -hmm. the case in, uh, in so many other markets too. Number two is already Germany, our neighboring uh, market as well. Uh, they have been declining in the last uh, couple of years. Then we have uh, USC, uh, the, the United States and China obviously is growing significantly as well as uh, the GCC. Now our goal is again to grow in all these three stages. We want to grow in the domestic market because they go, Swiss go and discover also the little valley and the little hiking tour. Uh, then we have the European markets, which are very relevant to us also in off-season and the long-haul markets. Mm -hmm. And what is the kind of uh, money spent that you see Max coming in from? Is it like Indians who come and shop a lot and spend a lot or is it Chinese or GCC etc? 
It is as you expected. It <laughs> is obviously uh, the, the 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 GCC who have the largest spending. But India is in the top five, so they really like to come to Switzerland and uh, not only stay in nice places, but also. Uh, profit from the wonderful souvenirs such as watches or chocolate and cheeses. So the cliches are definitely happening. Oh, I was coming to that. The Swiss chocolates or the Swiss watches or the Swiss Al Alps. What are you choosing between? Well, I have all. I have them all three. That's uh, <laughs> clearly that. I'm wearing a Swiss watch. I love the Swiss Alps, and there's no better chocolate than. And the I Swiss. hope you got Swiss chocolates for us then. <laughs> we certainly do. <laughs> all right. You know, after movies, the next love that India clearly has is cricket, and I am given to understand that there's a cricket match that you are organizing. Tell us on what really brought about that. What is it about? Basically, it's uh, it's a merge of uh, two excellent uh, two excellent competencies. The excellent sport sporty performance of India and the, the Swiss snow, ice and, and landscape. So it's a tournament, a cricket tournament that takes place on a frozen lake. So that itself... Has it ever been done before anywhere? Uh, to my recollection, it has not been done. What has been done is polo on ice. Yeah. So there have been sports on that uh, very lake. But uh, cricket on ice, uh, to my recollection, I think that's, uh, Hasn't that's, been done that's ever. the first time. Yeah. So uh, is this is the first time you're doing something like that. Are you intending to make it an annual event or this is still at a stage where you really are experimenting with something like this? It's an experiment, but a very promising experiment. It's the first one and I'm sure it's going to be very interesting. Well, Martin, hold that thought right there. We will take a very short break and come back and talk more about the tourism opportunities that Switzerland has to offer to Indians. Martin, tell us, uh, you know, when we talk about traveling to various countries, there is just so much change as it was in last decade, whether it's about flying or whether it's about staying from uh, the five star or seven star properties to the whole BNB. Uh, has Switzerland really taken all of that and soaked that in? Have you seen those changes come across? We have totally seen these changes. They are happening. It's a fact. It's happening in the world. There's no way around it. And I think for us, we see this as a chance. We see this as a chance to show our enormous, luxurious, great properties in the five-star sector. But we can also use this opportunity to show our phenomenal three-star hotels. We have excellent youth hostels. Uh, so this is an opportunity for us to show the whole variety and the whole segment from budget to luxury. So we, we see this as a big chance. Airbnb and, and bookings and all the other uh, online travel agencies are definitely going to uh, help us in that manner. Mm -hmm. So as we move ahead from here, the world clearly is changing. I mean, we've seen that happen in asset classes, economies. Europe, as you just said, is going through a lot of changes as well in sense of internal, it's external, uh, you know, bondings and uh, with other countries, etc. Do you see that changing the way the tourism is seen? Of course, uh, tourism is basically the world largest exchange program between cultures, between people. And I think this has a, a very positive aspect. The World Tourism Organization is actually seeing the tourism industry as a peacemaking process to bring people together, to talk to each other, to visit each other, to go and see how a different culture, how a different religion lives. So the tolerance level is certainly something that rises significantly if you travel. So if you know, if I had to come to Switzerland, how many days would I want and what kind of a budget would I want to have a good vacation and see it all kind of a trip? As I mentioned before, you can come as a backpacker, you can go and uh, live in apartments, you can have very good, excellent three-star hotels, or you can choose to really go for the luxury side. So it's basically, you decide your budget, and then we make sure that in Switzerland you will have your experience. And I would recommend, um, if you have a little bit of time, I would recommend you choose the Grand Tour of uh, Switzerland. That's basically a new product or a new experience. You can. Uh, experience Switzerland by car. You follow the grand tour, which is uh, signed out, and you see the most spectacular places, but also the most unexpected places. You are in cities, you are in urban areas, but then again, you're in lakes and mountains far away. You travel through all four cultural uh, spaces of Switzerland. So that could be something where you have the whole package of Switzerland within one travel experience. 2018 uh, marks also 70 years of uh, India and Switzerland bilateral friendship treaty that was signed in 1948. 
over the last many years with this government as well have you seen changes between the two countries definitely to its uh, to its advantage we uh, you just mentioned the visa section which is very important i mean if so many indians would like to come and travel to switzerland the visa shouldn't be a, a bottleneck and this we have sorted out so you have so many you have 16 uh, uh, 16 places now where you can go and you apply for, uh, for your visas. We have one of the fastest visa process uh, mm -hmm. in India, so that's um, that's not a bottleneck anymore. And that's at the end, that's finally the result of excellent uh, collaboration and uh, friendship and partnership between our two countries. What are the best places to shop? What is that one place or one thing that somebody who's visiting Switzerland should shop for? Well. Now I'm a bit on thin ice here, but uh, um, I suggest what is just a place wherever I have, whenever I have taken somewhere there, they were always in awe. This is the Lavo area in the Lake Geneva region. This is okay. just a beautiful place, actually, uh, and by the way, also part of the Grand Tour of Switzerland. Uh -huh. This is a, uh, a, uh, an old Asian vineyard right at the Lake of Geneva. And just in the back of the lake, just one hour uh, away, you have already at uh, the mountains, Glacier, Glacier 3000, where you can go and touch snow. So this would be something where I would say, go there, discover this area. That's something which probably most Indians have not seen yet. It's definitely worth a visit. Mm -hmm. And what is that one culinary or food gastronomics that you would definitely want one to visit? You have to get the cliches out of your system. You have to go and eat chocolate. You have to go <laughs> to the Gaillet Maison de Chocolat. You have to go and see how chocolate is made. You have to go and taste it. You can even make chocolate. So I think you need to have the chocolate experience and obviously also the, uh, the, the cheese experience. But then it's quite interesting also to go into different parts of Switzerland and for example, uh, try a particular dish from the uh, Eastern area, from the Grison area. That's so different than for example, in the Valais area and again in the central Switzerland area. So that's the beauty to discover Switzerland through your palate and taste those different uh, uh, foods and specialties and uh, finally this is the best way to discover a country actually with through the culinary experience so martin why we've discussed the whole host of things what is the best time then to come to switzerland and what would you have on the plate for that best time is throughout the year but i would like to uh, in, in particularly mention uh, the winter season because we see uh, increasing interest in the winter season and uh, because we have uh, noticed that we wanted to create something in particular which makes it interesting for the Indian audience. Obviously Indians don't come on a one week skiing holiday where they're carved down the slopes from day one. But they would like to have the, the touch of snow, they would like to have the, the skiing experience. How is the movie tourism doing really? Because at one time it was really blooming, while of course other countries are, are vying for that as well. But has Switzerland been able to sustain that in sense of movie tourism? Uh, there are TV serials now being shot in Switzerland as well. How has that business been? Um, in the past it has definitely shaped tourism for, for, from India where it is today. So we had these uh, uh, excellent movies in the past from Bollywood in Switzerland. It has changed now. Maybe f it's more become a series and a more a, a television format, but uh, we can still see interest. We are still uh, uh, production companies approaching us, coming to us, wanting to shoot Switzerland because the, the landscape, the attraction has not changed at all. Has it become more commercialized? It certainly has. It certainly has become more uh, uh, commercial, but it has also become uh, f uh, faster. It's so mm. fast. Uh, they come and they do within a couple of days, they do a couple of series. Mm. So we have to keep up with that. And uh, we, we welcome anyone who wants to come and shoot in Switzerland. So we most welcome and uh, we're happy to help. So what is uh, the marketing plan looking like? The plan, the strategy of Switzerland tourism is uh, going to continue on experiential marketing. Uh, you can not only throw out some hotels and airlines or, or air tickets and then expect people to get excited about this. We really want to make sure that we package exactly those experiences what you would expect. So you want to see the whole, uh, the whole thing. You don't only just go shopping. You want to have something exciting, something different, something you don't find at home. And we were very well prepared to cater for those needs. Well, on that high note, Martin, thank you so much for joining us today. Wishing you all the best for the future. And thank you so much for taking time out for us today. Thank you very much for having me. CNBC TV 18 Weekender, only on CNBC TV 18.